Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Staying safe, taking care of yourself, all those kind of things. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I use various software products to edit my images. Today is a first look video at a brand new product from our friends over at DxO. They own the Nick Collection and they have a product called Photolab. The old version is Photolab 3. Today they're announcing Photolab 4. I've had it, I've been playing with it for a little while. I'm having a lot of fun. I thought I would give you kind of a first look, first impression video. It's really powerful, it's really cool. And to be clear, this is a first impression, first, first look kind of video. This is not an in-depth tutorial because um, as soon as you see this, you're gonna know there's a whole lot to talk about. There's a lot to unpack. Let me just get into it. Here we go. Um, this is the grid view in the photo library. It does have a library component. I've just got a file uh, of on my desktop with a whole bunch of photos in it, as you can see here. Um, and all I did is I just clicked on that file folder and it just loaded them like that. So if you want to edit a photo, you can just double click on it and it will bring it into where you can customize. By the way, if you look in the upper left-hand side, there's photo library. You can go back where you just were or you could click on customize once you've highlighted a photo. Or like I did, you can just double click on the photo. So this is an upgrade from their version three. It goes on sale today and it's 30% off until November, ooh, I wanna say 19th. I'll put the info down below along with a link if you wanna purchase this product. Note that is an affiliate link. They contacted me a while back, asked me if I wanted to be an affiliate. And having used the Nick collection, which DxO bought off of Google a number of years ago, um, and part of that Nick collection was Nick software, um, and some of those folks now work at Skyloom. So it's a small world, uh, but it's a, uh, it's a great collection of products. I'm speaking of the Nick collection. It's eight different products that do a lot of different things. I've used it for years. It's a lot of fun. And I was really curious to check out Photolab. So when they contacted me, I said, you know what? It can't hurt. I'm gonna check it out. So anyway, the point is, if you wanna buy it down below, the link is an affiliate link, which means your cost is the same whether you use that link or not. But if you do use it, I get a small commission that helps me here. And, um, and if you don't use my link, use somebody else's just to help somebody out. Okay, let's talk about it because there's a lot to cover and we don't have all the time because I don't want this video to go too long. So I've got a photo here across the top. I've got a number of different things I can do. I have a crop tool, which uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of. In the bottom left corner, you see, I can come down here and say, I want a three to two crop ratio. And it's done that. I can just hit close. There's a lot of other options. Again, I'm moving kind of quickly. You've got the eyedropper up here that will get you into the white balance tool. Again, not gonna demo all that. I'm just gonna hit enter and move on. You've got a really cool thing here called the horizon leveling or straightening. So I can just pull this down here. Um, it works kind of like you may have seen in um, Lightroom, for example, where you draw the line, that sort of thing. I'm gonna hit apply. It's a slight straightening to my image, as you can see, and I'm gonna say close and I'm back in shape. So I've cropped my photo, I've straightened my photo, I've got healing, I've got local adjustments. You can come in here and draw gradients on here and then these little tools pop up. And again, not gonna go into depth here because again, I don't wanna drive you nuts because this would be like a 10 hour video. And just like I said in another recent video about a different product that's also very capable. Um, I'm gonna just cancel out of here and just say reset and get out of that. Uh, and hit close, the point is you can do local adjustments and all those little sliders allow you within that gradient zone that I just created to create lots of different impact upon your photo. So on the right hand side, I'm kind of moving over here to the right, you've got a histogram and you've got these other tabs as well that have a few things listed. But if you notice, you click on this and it opens up, you can basically add different things here. You've got so many different options of what you wanna represent on this main panel. But what I like is you have these little um, icons here. If you click on that, um, if you notice, it says lights. This next one, if I hover, says color. The third one says detail. I don't know if you've watched any of my videos, but what I always talk about when I'm editing is light and detail and color, and actually in that order. So I love how this is set up because it's set up to a, appeal to someone like me, that uh, someone like me that wants to fix the light improve the detail, and then boost the color. That's my um, workflow in a very simple sense. 
and this product is set up in that way. So you can actually just come through here, exposure compensation, as the name implies, increase the exposure. You've got this smart lighting, you can come in here and do these kind of things with it. You can pick different settings, like say slight, um, and it'll it'll adjust that. Um, again, I'm not gonna go into a lot of depth here, but I really like that. That's kind of like smart tone that used to be in Luminar. You've got selective toning here. You've got this clear view plus. This clear view plus is fantastic. Look what it just did to the photo. If you weren't paying attention, let me turn that off. There's the photo before Clearview Plus and after Clearview Plus, there it is. It pops a little bit of contrast, a little bit of color, a little bit of like structure or detail. And honestly, I think it looks beautiful. I think it's a fantastic little tool. So Clearview Plus is like A plus for me. Contrast, tone curve, vignetting. Then you can pop over here. You've got some amazing color controls, white balance, vibrance, saturation. Um, all kinds of things with lots of toning here. And then this HSL, the HSL panel itself is a video, so I'm not gonna get into it. Um, I'm not even covering the new features. They've got some um, increased and improved noise reduction. They've got the ability to set up custom workspaces. It's just, it's just really cool. And um, I, I'm gonna be honest, this is not a detailed video, as I said. I feel like I'm saying that repeatedly because I'm used to making my videos kind of detailed about products. But there's so much here that I, I honestly don't know where to start. And it's very much a first impression video for me. And the way I do my first impression videos is I want to go into it a little bit blind. I've played with it a little bit over the last couple of weeks, as I said, but I purposefully want to record a video without knowing a whole lot because I want to figure out how intuitive is this product? How, you know, if you're used to other photo editing software, how easily can you adjust to something like this? So I'm trying to show you how I am approaching it, hence it's kind of a high level overview. So lots of HSL stuff. Over here you've got details. You've also got um, their denoise technology, which includes their new technology called Deep Prime. I have not gone into it in depth yet. Um, next you've got geometry, so you can, this is cropping and distortion, as well as fixing the horizon and other things. And then you've got the local adjustment tool, which I think is so cool. So you could come in, uh, set up a local adjustment like that for the, you know, for just the, um, um, you know, just, I don't know, um, the bottom of the photo. I'm going to collapse that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to straighten it a tiny bit, pull this down a little bit. But as I said before and showed you, you have all these different sliders. So you have exposure. Hey, maybe I want to increase the exposure of that foreground a little bit. See how that works? I'm going kind of extreme to demonstrate it, but you can see I set up a gradient and then I lifted the exposure just in that section. Here's contrast. Maybe I want to bump the contrast a little bit. Um, and there you go. You can see that impacting that. Over here, micro contrast. Here's clear view plus again. I could add more clear view just to that area if I wanted to. Um, and then you've got highlights. Maybe I need to pull those down a tiny bit. And I'm kind of riffing here. I'm just kind of playing around. I didn't have a plan with this photo. Just wanted to be clear about that. Midtones, and then you've got shadows, and at the very end, you have blacks. But as soon as you say that you're happy, you can just say, boom, close, and apply that. And let me show you, I mean, really just messing around. I took the photo from that, which honestly, admittedly, I think it's a nice looking photo. I'm a little bit biased, of course, but I just saw these people going across the lake and there was really no one else there, some people in the far distance, but I was like, that's perfect. There's tons of room for them to go into the photo and I liked it, but just a couple of messing around kind of playing for just a couple of minutes, I think I have a nice looking photo. The reason I wanted to do this is because it helps me expand my horizons in terms of my editing knowledge. I get a lot of questions from people about different products. I wanna be as well versed as I can because I like being a resource for this community. And while I do videos on a lot of other products uh, more often, I wanna to try to incorporate things like DxO Photo Lab because it's powerful and it's really cool. I also recently did a video about Affinity Photo. Very cool, very powerful. I wanna to try to do some more of that. And the reason why is number one, it answers questions that I get, but number two, honestly, it's kind of selfish. And I said this in the other video, but it's good for me. It makes me think differently. It kind of gets my neural pathways kind of firing and um, it makes me creatively think. And I think it makes me a better photo editor. And even though I'm here to help you and that's what I enjoy doing on YouTube, I'm also here to help me because every time I make a video, it's helping me get better at that product or at photo editing in general, which is a goal for me. So um, I'm gonna go over here back to color. Uh, I don't even know where color is, right? Because I'm not used to it yet. Um, and I'm gonna go over here to 
turn on this. I'm going to turn down the saturation just a little bit because it's a little bit too saturated. Um, that was bugging me, but that's a, that's a really high level overview of DxO Photo Lab 4. Brand new, comes out today. It's pretty cool stuff. Check it out at the link below. Again, it's an affiliate link. Um, feel free to check it out if you're interested. There's a lot to unpack here, as I said, and I will come back in future videos and do some more of it because I think there's a lot to talk about here. And I'm always looking out for cool, interesting new stuff to play with because admittedly, I just like these kind of toys and it's fun for me and good for me, as I said. So there's a quick high level kind of first impression first look at DxO Photo Lab 4. It's cool. It's super powerful. There's a lot to do. I would say, much like Affinity Photo, this is not for someone that doesn't really know very much about photo editing. If you're fairly new to photo editing, and there's nothing wrong with it. Everybody's been a beginner at some point, and I'm learning stuff all the time. I'm learning this product, even though I'm making a video about it. But if you're not already fairly comfortable with these kind of tools, this is probably not the tool for you. But if you're looking for a really sound alternative to On One, and you know, to be clear, I like all these products I'm gonna name because I like really I, I like most products that I've tried. Um, but if you're looking for an alternative to On One, maybe it's this. If you're looking for an alternative to Lightroom and or Photoshop, maybe it's this. There's a lot of power in this product, and it's um, it's fun. And I don't know offhand, but I have to assume they're probably also going to offer free trials. So maybe you can check that out on their website if you're interested. Other than that, I just kind of wanted to have a play and kind of do a test drive with DxO Photo Lab 4. I like it. I'm going to keep playing with it as soon as I can find the time. There's a lot of stuff happening. This time of year is the best time of year to be playing with stuff because everybody comes out with stuff kind of before the end of the year because of the Christmas holidays I gather and things like that. So it's fun for me. I'm going to be a little bit like a ferret on a double espresso, kind of bouncing around, playing with things, but lots more coming. Thanks for watching, um, and uh, I hope you're staying safe and taking care of yourself, and I will be back soon with more videos about lots of different products, and I appreciate you watching, my friends. You take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon, and adios.